What is good, Josh on the Tool Game Man? Back in there with yet another Saints rebuild video. And yes, I know the last video was choppy. I think I fixed some stuff to make it run smoother. It looks a lot smoother in my um, recording software right now. So did a little change to that. Searched up a couple of videos. If you know any more, let me know down below. But we did also did a test run on Fortnite. So if y'all want to see that gameplay, make sure y'all go check that out. If you see me look to the right, just know I'm checking my levels because the sound was a little bit too high on the gameplay. So I think I fixed it. Uh, you can see a whole bunch of things to do over here. I thought I was recording and I did the first one, which is a tandem breakout. It's basically Deontay Harris praising Michael Thomas. Um, and we went ahead and uh, praised him because I feel like he's done a really good job in his role. Gave Michael Thomas 2,500 XP and then obviously some goals for Deontay Harris. Now let's go ahead and look at who our breakout player chance is. Coach, question for you. How closely have we been to watching Darnay Holmes? Because he's made a lot of big plays. He can dominate the secondary. Okay. I like it. Hopefully we can hold him down in 50 yards passing. This team is not really that good on offense or on defense, really. I mean, shoot, we can't talk because our teams look pretty bad. But hopefully he can get that next evolution. He still is 26 years old. So plenty of time to keep growing. And now the very last thing to go ahead and do here is the GM prospect spotlight. Please be somebody good this time. Here he is, round two to three projection, 23 years old, which I normally try to stay away from unless they're really solid talents right off the bat, because that's a that's two years you missed out on some development, because you could get somebody that's 21 years old at the same overall. But we don't know any of his key moves there. We've got great to elite acceleration, solid to good strength, marginal to decent speed. So can't really tell which uh, archetype he might be. B awareness, F injury, we'll just have to wait and see if he gets more He's only at 20% right now. My bet is going to be he'll be one of the ones that's just at 40%. So we got to hope we get lucky with that extra 20. And maybe even use our uh, off-season workout on him to see what he's got. Round two to three projection on a year where we're looking for defensive tackle depth. Could be a good option. With all that being said, we got a corner to watch out for. We got to watch the play of Deontay Harris to see if it's elevated. So what better game to watch than this Washington football team game? Let's see if we can continue to dominate. I know record-wise it's not good. But we got all these breakout player chances. I feel like we got to, unless Oakland is like five and zero, or like uh, four and one. Unless they got a really good record, I think we got to watch this week. Raiders, Raiders. I mean, they're three and two, just as good. So we'll go ahead and watch this one, see what we can do with all these breakout player chances, simulate Oakland, and we'll be ready to go ahead and get up against Atlanta. Let's get right. Here we go. I'm looking to the side and it's looking beautifully clear. Let's hope for a better gameplay this time and better audio quality as well. First and 10 here, Josh Garland throwing it out already to Michael Thomas and you love to see the connection. Just got praised. Time to go off. Now with that reception, we got second and two here and I want to see the offense actually get some work in today. Obviously last time we saw it start out cold, finish up hot when we watched the game. Remember we came back and scored 20 unanswered to win in OT. And then went on a run where we won the next two of our next three games. So this team can get streaky and hot at times. And we want to see that continue to build as the season goes on. You know, we're three and two right now. But I feel like we should be a little bit better if we play to our capabilities. Now, I see it here today. And prove me right, Garland, please. Throw out. There goes D'Angelo Steele, who I was worried was injured. We didn't have any practice injuries, though. No injuries at all. So coming to this game completely healthy. Tight look here out of the gun. Hand off Alvin Kamara again, and that time he is met basically in the backfield. Michael Thomas, Cole Stewart to the top of the screen, looks like. Throw goes out and probably throwing it a little bit too early for the prejudge there. And we will have to punt the ball back to Washington. Now, honestly, we really here for the defense because we want to see if that man, Darnay Holmes, can go ahead and get his upgrade. I think that is the superstar ability because I think he's star development right now as we go ahead and tackle down 
Antonio Gibson for a gain of six. We got to see if he calls him in pass coverage. Got to hold him to under 150. With that man Colin Kaepernick in the backfield, that might be easy because he should be running all over the pocket as they get enough for the first. Y'all got to let me know, Washington fans. Are y'all, First of all, y'all excited about y'all name change to the Commanders? I thought it would be something a little more exciting. But, you know, new name, finally. We don't have to call him the football team anymore. Um, but what y'all think about Colin Kaepernick in that Washington red? I'm just saying. All dreams and wants aside, that man ain't getting signed by Washington, sadly. Hand off up the middle. Antonio Gibson is getting off this game. Boy, in the pass and run game. Can we get somebody to lock that up? I've been working on run stopper ability for our D-line. No, understanding that we got to get them better at that. And they're just running all over us. We even put the game plan to stop the run. Handoff. Gibson. Big run to the right side. And it's a first down off one carry. And they're just slowly and methodically running the ball down our throat. Pause. I need my linebackers to get in there and do something. Sean Dobson. Stop just standing there. There we go. Getting the back. Did you go get blocked? Thank you, Marcus Williams, for filling the gap. But Sean Dobson went straight to the uh, offensive lineman. Oh, oh, we almost. Oh, yes, sir. We should have had the sack by Trey Flowers. But thank goodness Reggie Holt was there as well. His body got in the way of the throw and at least caused the incompletion. Now we'll see their first third down of the game here. He'll have to throw. Pressure coming up the middle. That boy, Marcus Davenport, jogged his way into a sack, his fifth of the season. Despite the sack, they were in good enough position to go in and get a 48-yard field goal to be made. So they're up 3-0 now, and it's up to our offense to try to bounce back. Throw goes out quick. Michael Thomas again to start off the drive. Two drives in a row. Motion from the rookie tight end, Abdul. Running right behind him, getting behind his offensive line, getting up a nice chunk of yards there. Ooh, throw goes out quick again. We are, John Garland be on these hot reads, bro. I'm telling you. As long as you run your route, you where you're supposed to be. He is throwing off timing, not looking at all. As he finds uh, D'Angelo still there for enough to get as close for the first downs. And dang, what name was I about to say? Alvin Kamara goes in and gets us on the other side of the field. Sometimes I gotta slow down with my talking a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I, I, I be speed talking sometimes. I be speed talking. We all do. Play fake here. Plenty of time in the pocket. Just throws out to Alvin Kamara in the flats. I'd love to see him throw the ball deeper down the field. When you're going to do a play action like that, somebody should have got caught sleeping. If they didn't, we ain't running enough. We need to stop running play actions and run this rock. Four-man pressure there, and that pass could have been picked off if the linebackers paying more attention. D'Angelo still dropped back unnecessarily. Uh, so that's not on Josh Garland. That's on the receivers. we got to start paying more attention to that too. Maybe not put so much blame on Josh Garland when it ain't even his fault. Is D'Angelo still... Gets enough for the first down there. I love it. Hand off. Alvin Kamara. Big run lane up the middle. Now we're starting to block. Now we're getting what we need to. And I think that is, uh, what is it, Jamin Davis? Just going down with the injury there for Washington. And I feel like with the name change too, I feel like I got to start calling them the commander. So I'm no, I'm going to try, at least if I can remember. No longer call them the football team, even in the game, even though it doesn't update on here. They are the commanders. Hand off here. That is Deontay Harris to the outside. And... I ain't gonna get you nothing. Also, if you have any ways to not pick up like background noise, let me know down below too. I got this thing. I feel like it's picking up my PlayStation sound and my uh, laptop. Just saying, you know, the fans going when it's cold. So let me know any ways to like reduce that down below. I also try to look up some videos, see what I can find. The only thing I got found was like turning down the sensitivity on my overall thing. But then I feel like then I gotta basically scream at this mic to get y'all to hear me. So second and twelve here. Throw. Ah, oh, come on now. We got to get that thing out to Alvin, not throw it back shoulder. Third and 12. In field goal range. Could tie up the game. Throw goes out to the end zone. And Josh Garland does what he does best. You don't call him Mr. Pick per game for nothing. Don't know if I like this look. Third and one. This is off. Oh, it's a pass play. Goes out to the quick slant. And Marshawn Lattimore was not anywhere close to having to play. I wish I could make adjustments from up here, bro. Like, I would tell him to press. In situations like that, like third and short, we need to be pressing. Oh, ah, Marcus Davenport almost got there. Great block by the halfback. But there he is, David Onyemata getting in for his first second again. Oh, my gosh. He just right hooked that man. Drop back. Throw goes out to a tight space. Marshall Lattimore had good coverage. Was on his back hip, but maybe that's the problem. 
on his back hip and not anywhere position to make the interception there as Curtis Samuel makes it a third and short. Another drop back. We haven't seen much runs on this drive. And I mean, for good reason, they're moving the ball through the air. Four man pressure to the outside. The tight end was wide open. Sean Dobson, I think was supposed to be a coverage there, was nowhere near him. I don't know if he got broke or what, but uh, Dawson Knox just made him look stupid. Ooh, a blitz here, and we get the ball knocked down. Marcus Davenport came across untouched as Reggie Holt will go down with an injury. We'll see what that means for the defensive line. I'm honestly not sure who should come in as the backup rush tackle. Drop back here, and he gets there in the backfield and is able to stop the screen. All right, and we're going to come up to the booth. Like I said, we're more defensive-minded here today, so let's hope the offense can put in work as that big penalty must have you know, shifted momentum as we quickly jumped our side of the field. Alvin Kamara with a 19-yard pass. Answer right back with a penalty of our own. And we're in red zone territory. Let's see if they can close this out with a touchdown to D'Angelo Steele. 13 yards. And just like that, we have taken the lead back in this game. Coming into what should be the hopefully last drive of the half. Let's go, D. I want to see a turnover. A stop without a field goal. Like, we all bending but not breaking. But let's break them. Drop back, hand off to the outside. Perfectly clear lane as he gets knocked all the way forward for a huge game. Pretty even splits from the commanders here today. 10 and 10. Oh, fake hand off to one receiver, hand it off to the other one, and nah. I don't know who y'all was fooling with that one. Boom, sit down. Oh, this got it. This is a clear running formation, but I feel like it's gonna be a quick throw. Yep, quick throw here. He's looking. Found his man Terry McLaurin. He cleared one linebacker, and we did not get pressure in to go ahead and stop him. They ate that zone coverage up. Drop back. Fake the five-man rush again this time, and we were able to get Terry McLaurin down. Hey, okay. That's how you do it. In your scenario, you got to get the ones to make plays. A minute 40 left. They went no huddle. The ball went out of bounds. I don't think they gained any yards on that, and the offense will get a chance to score. So, shoot, might as well. Let's go watch. Let's see if we can make something happen here on our drive. Only about a minute and a half left to go. Clean pocket. Michael Thomas with another catch. That boy gets praised, and he start going off. It looked like three for 35 already in the first half. Drop back, clean pocket once again. Alvin Kamara getting the ball, not going out of bounds, and we'll have to expend our first time out. I appreciate that. You know, get, get your yards, but I think we probably want to go out of bounds there. Save the time out. Could have used it a little bit later. Got another play in. Drop back, clean pocket all day to throw, and it finally collapses, and nobody must have got open down the field. All right, come up in the booth real quick. Let's see what can go down for our defense as we get another sack there. Another sack for Marcus Davenport, and we're getting the ball back to our offense. Let's go ahead and cap out this game, bro. Let's put them away. Offense, that is not what I meant when I said put them away. Y'all putting us away. Penalties will help them. <laughs> Big play for Michael Thomas. First and 10, second and 10 here. Alvin Kamara going big again. Let's score. Let's score. Now we in red zone territory. First and goal. Seven yard touchdown to Traquan Smith. And we have the lead extended to eight now. Defense, what are y'all going to do? First and 10. I don't want to see Gibson go off now. Come on. Oh, they, they done found out the secret sauce was handed to Gibson. All right, they on their side of the field. But it is third and inches. Can we get a stop here? I got to get better at transitioning this too. Since it's all on one system now, I do got to like make my face cam go away <laughs> when I'm going up to the booth. I'll be forgetting to do that. So if you see me just staring at the screen during the time I'm in the booth, that's what the booth look like. You know, we, we just be blind eyed, you know. So they were able to get the first off the rushing attempt there. Antonio Gibson is probably had a really good day on the ground. Hand off to him again. Keep feeding that man. I would. Put your foes up. Put your, put your foes up. Last quarter of the game and we're up eight. We got to finish things out here. Second and four. Drop back. Throw goes out. Cool. Marcus. I think that was Marcus Williams. Could have had the pick either. Marcus Williams or Bobby Wagner. I saw a four at the end of the number. I think that was Bobby uh, Wagner. 54 there on the almost interception. Empty look here for the commanders. Throw out to... No! Paulson, no! Go for the yick. We need to put Paulson in the slot. Maybe we'll have more success if I do that. 
I might look into that. <laughs> See what we can do there. Uh oh, Colin Kaepernick getting out of the pocket. Trey Flowers gets there for the sack. You are not evading him. You might have evaded Marcus Davenport, but that's a linebacker. He got just a little bit more speed. Cap drop back, throw out deep. He got beat. Oh yeah, you ain't getting. I don't even know if I want. I, I think if they give it to you, I might take it away. How do you get beat? In your chance to go ahead and develop into a uh, superstar dev, you can't get beat like that. Mm, interesting, going for two already. You, I wasn't sure if they'd go for one or or two. So drop back, throw right over the middle, and I'm almost mad. Sean Dobson wasn't there to uh, knock that away, but great job by Cap with the incomplete pass. We've seen y'all score two touchdowns here today. Can we get a third to really put this one away? Alva Kamara, I want to see a heavy dose of that too because we need to drip that clock away. Oh my gosh, that boy, was that, I think it's Jonathan Allen, just bullied his way into the backfield in 0.5 seconds. I ain't seen one of our offensive, get, offensive linemen get beat like that in a while. Third and 10, we'll have to rely on the pass here to get 10 yards, throw out to Alvin Kamara, there you go. Get your yards in the pass game too, my boy. That should bring in Harold Mills, number 60 at center, as we throw the ball out to Deontay Harris for the first down. Hey, look. I know I want to run the ball. Trust me, I do. But if we're going to pass the ball, great. We just need to drip that clock off and be great. Sucks that's the second straight injury timeout that they've had. Or no, we had the first one. My bad. But injury timeouts is making this clock stop. Alvin Kamara to the outside. And, yo, Davis was right there step for step with him. I remember doing them drills, though, back in the day, you know, trying to do the angle tackling. Boy, if I could have, I would have mm -mm, broke so many people's ankles because some people don't know how to angle tackle. That's what you got to do there. Just have him on that back shoulder and hit him with a side step. Alvin Kamara, I'm over here explaining how to sidestep. What are you doing? Out of field goal range yet, so it would be great if we can get in field goal range because then they're going to have a chance to score. Or if they don't, clean pocket throw out. Please tell me somebody's open. Well, I said this was a defensive video, didn't I? Please give me something here. Defense. Give me a turnover. Give me a stop. There you go. There you go. Get that sack. Get that sack, Marcus Davenport. Down to the two-yard line. Honestly, probably should have borderline been the one-yard line, but his third sack of the game comes at a very clutch moment. We've had six sacks today. They're all the way back here. Are they going to try to run to get some room? Let's get in the backfield. Oh, yeah, handoff. Come on, come on. Ah, yes, sir, Marcus Davenport. Oh, that ain't even Marcus. Dang, my bad. <laughs> I'm out here just giving people's achievements away. Peyton Turner finally getting in the game and making something happen. I love it. Third and 18, they'll hand off again. No. Come on, get that CJ. CJ, she said, no. No. CJ. CJ. This is why I do face cam too, so y'all can see what a coach's reaction really be like when they players fluff up that bad. Dang, the Panthers got off today. 31-0. I'm really going to have to watch out for them. Hand off again up the middle. Antonio Gibson on a run, too. We had everybody up on the line. Everybody got blocked. That was actually Pritchett. Tony Gibson probably tired after the long run he just did. And all the days of hard work he's had. Third and five here. Drop back. Somebody get there for the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, big boys. Get there for the sack. I don't mean this. Literally. I hate this man, Cap. Love Kaepernick. Hate this man, Kaepernick. All offense. Time to go to work. Y'all surprised me once this season. Can you do it again? I can't believe Carolina's 1-4 and four and they just went off like that. The Eagles must be dumpster juice. Draw back, throw out. Deontay Harris will not even have a chance to get his hands on it as that was a poorly thrown pass by Josh Garland. Second and 10. About three minutes left to go in the game. We need a touchdown to take the lead back. Throw goes out to the sideline as no one must have been open. Draw back. Clean pocket, and it looks like nobody's going to get open. Is I, I can't believe it, bro. Is nobody open? Nobody? Let me see, bro. Nobody. What play call do we? Boom. I mean, you could throw that hitch. But, yeah, this is a terrible play. I don't, I don't offensive coordinator to be fired. What play is this? I would not even run this play, but at the very least, boom. Low pass to his ankles. Give, give uh, who is it, Michael Thomas a chance. But other than that, yeah, that they gave him a terrible play call on third down. Well, defense is all up to you now. 
If we can get a stop, there's still a chance, but we don't, probably aren't going to have any timeouts. Drop back by Cap. He's still going to throw the ball down the field. Oh, uh, he must have knew about Darnay Holmes' uh, objective. He said, nah, we're going to win and take that objective from you, cuz. Because he's really still passing the ball. That is crazy. Up uh, five points here. You would see the CPU most of the time run it. So they'll take this down close to the two-minute warning. Hike it one more time. Throw out to the flats. Wide open receiver. Now, we haven't stopped the run all day, so it doesn't get any easier from here. In fact, it probably gets harder. Drop back on second and three. Hand off Antonio Gibson. He will get the first and much more as no linebackers are there to even fill in the gap. Third and nine, they're going to go empty. I'm honestly surprised they're not going to run it. We have no timeouts left. Drop back. Cap is out. Throwing to the flats. Nobody's. Why? Darn it, you don't deserve it, bro. You don't deserve it. I promise you, you don't deserve it. On third and eight, when we need a stop, you let him have a short five-yard stop route and give cushion. That is crazy. I don't care if we were zone, man, anything like that. If I'm running that in slot and I know they need a first down to end the game, I'm just built different, bro. Tough loss here, man. We had it going for us for a little bit, and they came out and took the rug from underneath our feet. 21 to 37 here. Uh, not 21 to 37. 21 to 37 for Josh Garland. 229, two touchdowns, and a pick. Kaepernick threw for 161. So, with that being said, that should knock Darnay Holmes out of getting his upgrade. But 210 for Antonio Gibson. The run defense let me down completely. And the chance where we had the chance to get them basically stopped in the end zone for a possible safety we gave up the lead with that huge run up the middle and then cj it was all because of cj gardner johnson all you had to do is make the tackle and we would have had to have them at least punt still but we're not able to do it no real standouts on any side uh d'angelo Steele and traquan smith caught the only two touchdowns for us but still incredibly uh pissed off at my defense uh that was a terrible day and uh, yeah you best believe defense y'all got full pads yeah, I mean, offense probably should, too, because y'all only scored 14 points. Uh, we need to score more than that, but, I mean, defensive line, we got these, the, the edge rushers, or the pass rushers, these three, and then, obviously, Reggie Holt, he got hurt, so he wasn't a part of it, but those four, they'll have, light like, practice. Everybody else? Give me that. I was ready to go heading into this week, but things just didn't go my way once again. Start, I need to do better than that. Yes, you do. I mean... It's kind of on the offense. Like I would love to see Josh Garland to finish drives better when we get into the red zone, but we did score some touchdowns. We did do some things on offense. Honestly, it should have still been a W the way, and I should, be, I guess, be a little bit more mad at my offense, but I'm too angry at my defense right now to even think about what the offense had going on wrong. Let's see, D message on the breakout player. I, I knew, ah, uh, ah, uh, I mean, I'll take it. Thankfully, maybe he'll get better and actually be able to hold up some of those things. But also, one of the big touchdowns was his fault because he blew coverage on Terry McLaurin. So, and here's the injury after the game. Reggie Holt will be out for four weeks with the upper arm fracture, which I haven't simulated for yet, so I think it'll be three. That's going to be a huge hit, and I got to see he's going to cover up that position uh, for the edge rush, or for the rushing defensive tackle, as well as, you know, backup edge rusher. All right, we got a GM meeting. Apparently, we got a free agent fit. That could possibly work here. I haven't seen this one in a while since when we got, who was it last time? It was a linebacker last time. I can't remember his name right now, but he did help for a good minute. So uh, we could use the depth and probably be defense over anything. Offense, I think we're doing a pretty good job as far as our talent over there. Uh, what do you got for me defensively? Darius, ooh, Darius Williams. And Convo, uh, Oliver Vernon. I mean, I don't even know what this dude has on him. Not really, because that's going to be Reggie Holt's spot when he come back. We got Trey Flowers over there. Uh, Darius Williams. I, I'm just not, Honestly, I'm really not trying to spend the money list. There was a little bit better, so I think I'm just going to... I think I'm, I think I'm good. I think I'm going to just say, you know, none of those are really going to be a major upgrade. For real, they're not... I mean, I could get him, and that'd be three corners, at least over 80. But Paulson Debo hasn't played bad. I really don't think he's a bad corner. He makes mistakes sometimes and pisses me off. But I think he still deserves to be in this lineup. 
the last game yeah we need to i think we did more like a we stopped outside runs pretty well we did not stop anything inside so i want to go inside here um check on my player health make sure everybody is straight over here 99 percent we're at full pads right now you best believe it and then here on offense we definitely want to oh, okay make sure i got control of this again we'll leave everything the same as far as player health because they should be just as good throw medium will be the game plan go to team profile uh why is it locked i have that i don't know why it keeps doing that i get it occasionally lock itself um let's go in here and look at my weekly strategy though real quick and go ahead and get out of here third three touchdown passes don't allow rushing touchdown yes let's bounce back from last one six yards per get per carry and 15 first downs that being said, let's get to the box score and see if we can bounce back with a dub in the video. That's what I'm talking about, bro. I want to see one of these games bust off one time, bro. 49 to 28 here against the 3 and 3 Oakland Raiders. We definitely bounced back strong and had a way better game. Not much in terms of yardage for Josh Garland. Three touchdowns, got sacked four times, but we also got to Derek Carr four times. He threw for over 300. He had 42 attempts. My boy almost completed as many passes as Josh Garland and Sims, bro. Like, that is crazy. We really had them throwing the ball. Obviously, we had a huge lead. Uh, 97 here for Alvin Kamara. Two touchdowns, almost 100-yard game from him. And Crothers, way better rushing game this game. 5.4 a carry with a touchdown coming out of the backfield for him. Couldn't stop Henry Ruggs, though, but they couldn't stop Michael Thomas either. 7 for 97. Two touchdowns from Cole Stewart. I love seeing it. And I just love seeing big offensive days when we're able to splash out. A touchdown for D'Angelo Steele as well. And I love when we actually have a big game and play to our capabilities. That's the team that I think we are and the team that can win Super Bowls when we play games like this. Two sacks, two more sacks for Marcus Davenport. Great game. One and a half for Tim Settle and a half for Trey Flowers. Not missing Reggie Holt at all, at least through the first game. And Marcus Williams with the interceptions were also had no Deontay Harris because he got out with a quad strain. So one of our best offensive weapons wasn't even playing and we were still able to do that good. I think that's why Cole Stewart had two touchdowns. He loved going off. When Deontay Harris ain't around. But that'll basically end the video, man. We bounce back with a dub. Take back over the division because the Falcons have had their bye already. And they are 3-3. Three and three. Carolina's bounced back to go 3-4. and four, uh, As well as Tampa Bay at 1-5. and five. So, tight division. Looks like Carolina's going to be a team to really watch. So, that might be uh, another game to watch later in the season. We'll see if they complete the comeback. But next time out, we will definitely watch this Atlanta game. They've been a really good team to start the season. They've kind of fallen off. I don't know we'll see i might still go with it i might not we'll see what the kansas city and broncos records are and see if i decide to you know, just go ahead and sing with this one too but for right now i'm thinking that's what we're gonna start next video off with so if y'all enjoyed let me know man let me know more things i can do for making more enjoyable down below gaming channel is coming soon be on the lookout for other types of videos i promise you this channel is about to get lit road to 5k let's get rocking and i look forward to hearing from you guys in the next video man it's me your boy shot too smooth aka black okage black avatar king leo I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm gone. Peace.